Hi everyone and welcome to our next Tech Tree Rundown. Today we're looking at the Delhi Sultanate. There are three star difficulty as far as the devs are concerned with a strong military research and defense. The three star difficulty likely comes from how their research works because technically it's free but takes more time unless you use scholars. But we'll get on to that. The Delhi Sultanate stays many steps ahead of their enemies with a great networks of scholars. Fully realize they feel the intimidating war elephant and trample those in their path. They have a scholarly culture. You research all technologies for free. Research can be stopped and resumed without losing any of your potential research, but it progresses at a much slower rate without the help of religious scholars. You get frontier fortifications, establish fortified settlements using military units that can build palisades, keeps, gain access to a free weapon emplacement once constructed. You get the Garden Bounty, where you cultivate berry bushes into orchards by building mills near them. Orchards yield a higher amount of food. You get 500 instead of 250. Their general civilization bonuses. You gather from berry bushes 25% faster, but you cannot gather from boars. Scholars are available in the Dark Age. All technology is free, but completes at a much slower rate. Scholars accelerate those research speeds. Infantry units are able to construct defenses, initially only the palisade walls. Technically, there's an exploit that would allow them to build the stone walls as well. And there is a legitimate way to allow them to build stone walls with one of the landmarks. Fishing ships are equipped with an archer, just to give them a little bit of defense. Buildings constructed within the influence of a mosque benefit from faster research speed based on how many scholars are garrisoned in that mosque. Unique units, the scholar, when garrisoned inside the mosque, scholars speed up technology research time. The war elephant, a high health, high damage unit with strong siege attack. You also get the tower war elephant, which isn't listed here, which is a war elephant with archers on its back, which can be upgraded to crossbowmen. As always, you start with a town center in the dark age, you get a villager, a scout and textiles. You also get access to a house as usual. However, you also get access to the mosque where you can build the scholar right from the Dark Age, including researchers associated with it, such as herbal medicine, which increases the healing rate of scholars by 100%, piety, which increases the health of scholars by 40, and then some unique technologies. Firstly is sanctity, which allows scholars to capture sacred sites before the castle age. Sacred sites generate 100% more gold, you also get efficient production, allows scholars to garrison in military buildings, boosting their production speed by 100%, a very nice bonus. You also get access to the all-seeing eye technology in the feudal age, which increases the sight range of scholars by 100%. Then in the castle age, you get access to swiftness, which increases the movement speed of those scholars by 50%. And then you get zeal, your final unique religious technology in the Imperial Age, where units healed by the Scholar gain 50% attack speed for 3 seconds, so well worth having some of these on the front line as well. And obviously you get Tithe Barns as usual. You get access to the mill with its usual upgrades, the same with the Lumber Camp and the Mining Camp, nothing special there, and obviously access to the farm. Then at the Barracks you get access to the Spearmen in the Dark Age and Feudal Age, and Man at Arms in the Castle Age. Then we move on to the dock. You get access to a fishing ship, which has an archer for a little bit of defense and your transport ship in the Dark Age. In the Feudal Age, you get a trade ship and your doe, which is your archer ship. Then you get your bagla, which is your attack ship with the broadside ballista and the explosive doe. And then you get the Zebek, the warship in the Imperial Age with broadside cannons. Upgrades wise, you get your usual fishing upgrades and then you get patchwork repairs which is unique to the Delhi Sultanate, which increases the repair rate efficiency by 100%. You get Navigator Lookout, Armoured Hulls, Chaser Cannons, and Explosives. Nothing else special there. You get access to your Palisade Walls, your Palisade Gate, and your Outpost. Outpost has the usual upgrades, the option of Arrow Slit, Spring Old Emplacement, or Cannon Emplacement, and obviously Fortify Outpost. And then on to our landmarks for the Dark Age. The first is the Tower of Victory. Melee and ranged infantry who move near this landmark permanently gain about 15% attack speed. Unclear why it says about rather than just plus 15%. It's a little bit strange. And then you get the Dome of Faith, which produces scholars at 50% less cost. On to the Feudal Age, you get access to build your town centers. 
you get access to the market, nothing special there. And then you get access to the blacksmith as usual. You get the melee damage and range damage technologies, the melee armor and range armor technologies, siege engineering for those towers and battering rams. You get military academy and then the unique technology forced march. Infantry units gain the Forced March ability, which is activatable, so remember it's there. This ability makes them move 100% faster for 10 seconds, but they cannot attack while it is active, so keep that in mind. You get access to your Battering Ram and Siege Tower if you've done the technology, and then you get your Archery Range. In the Feudal Age, you get your Archer, then your Crossbowman in the Castle Age, and then your Hand Cannoneer in the Imperial Age. Jumping back to the Castle Age, is when you get access to your Tower War Elephant. These are powerful ranged cavalry that can fire while moving, they have a high health, and are mounted with powerful archers. Then in the Imperial Age you get access to the Siege Elephant upgrade, which means Tower War Elephants have elite crossbowmen instead of archers. You also get access to your Stables, which gets you a Scout and Horseman in the Feudal Age, the Lancer and the War Elephant in the Castle Age. The War Elephant is a heavy cavalry effective against other cavalry, siege weapons, walls and buildings. They have a high health and armor, mounted with an advanced spearman and capable of attacking stone walls. You also get an upgrade for all your elephants in the Imperial Age called Armored Beast, which grants plus two armor to War Elephants and the Tower Elephant. You get access to your Stone Wall, Stone Wall Gate and Stone Wall Tower, and then your Feudal Age Landmarks. Compound of the Defender, this is your legitimate way to allow infantry units to build stone walls, gates and towers. It also reduces the cost of stone buildings and their emplacements by 25%. The other option is the House of Learning. It grants no immediate bonus other than advancing to the next age, but contains many unique economic and religious technologies. Let's have a look through them. Reinforced Foundations, houses and town centers grant an additional plus five maximum population. Tranquil Venue, Mosques restore plus one health to nearby friendly units every second. Lookout Towers, increase the sight range of outposts by 50%. Then in the Imperial Age, Hearty Rations, increase the carrying capacity of all villages by 5%. And Honed Blades, increase the melee damage of men at arms and knights by three. That's quite a nice upgrade. Moving on from that, in the Castle Age, you get access to your keep with your usual upgrades of a Springhold emplacement and a cannon emplacement. Also, some unique technologies. Slow burning defenses increase the fire armor of stone walls, keeps, and outposts by plus 10. That's a big bonus. You get the village fortress. Keeps act like a town center, including unit production, population capacity, and technology. And you also get your usual boiling oil upgrade. You also get access to your siege workshop where you get the Springhold, the Manganel, the Counterweight Trebuchet, and the Bombard Cannon. Other than that, it's just your usual upgrades, nothing unique here. Then you get access to your Castle Age landmarks. The first is the Hissar Academy, which constantly generates food based on the total number of technologies researched. The more technologies, the more food. Then the other option is the Palace of the Sultan, automatically produces Tower War Elephants. You can garrison up to four scholars in the landmark to increase the production speed. Then once in the Imperial Age you don't get a university per se, you get the Madrasa. The Madrasa has the same upgrades as the university, this doesn't get any special upgrades for the Delhi Sultanate. And then you get their wonder which is the Great Palace of Agra, which costs the usual 3000 of each resource. That's the Delhi Sultanate in a nutshell. The thing to watch out for with the Delhi Sultanate is the fact that all of your researches are free, but you do need to build plenty of scholars to increase that speed, because you will fall behind otherwise. Thanks very much for watching, we have one civilization to go, I hope these have been helpful for when you can't pop in the game, or if you don't have the game yet and you wanted to learn a little bit about the civs. Please do like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more videos.